Hey, I'm uh, back in the void. My, my, my face seems to have swollen. It's taken up much more dark void real estate here. <laughs> We're paying rent by the square inch on this void. Goodbye, Mad Jack. Is that like David Cage's attempt to be like ironically sweet? <laughs> Goodbye, Mad Jack. We knew him well. I think we're safe now, unless uh, the ghost of Mad Jack comes back to uh, haunt the other protagonists. You just hear the horn of a crane busting through the wall. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, we're back to the Kramer nonsense, are we? Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. Ah, oh, look away in disgust. <laughs> That's harsh language to be using in front of a lady, Scott. <laughs> Are these your files? I'm appalled. Look yeah, back at No, I still can't look at you. <laughs> uh, build up a mountain of paper. You've disappointed me, Magazine's you've disappointed yourself. Gee, look at the time. It's time I was in another room. <laughs> he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years. His name may be in there somewhere. Trouble you know, I walked in here with such purpose, but now that I'm here... I just realised the event doesn't trigger for like another five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to turn around and walk back into the living room slash office. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Let's have a little sit down here. A, a little talk with Lauren. I'll be my guest. I'm not even going to look at her. The it's the next there, is a there are two chairs you could have used, yet you decided to sit on the edge of the desk. Hey, the quick time event for the desk was closer, alright? <laughs> Okay, we gotta make her some eggs while she has a bit of a shower, so head on over to the fridge. This is what I was waiting for. If you go to the fridge, like, before this point, before she goes for a shower, nothing. <laughs> Silence. Can't even look at it, can't open it, nothing. It may as well not even exist. <laughs> <laughs> it's an existential fridge until a specific point in time where it decides to return to the real world. This frying pan may as well be every. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, this is what I bought a PS3 for. I mean, th this is what I got gifted the PS3 for. Are you are you happy with your gifting decision? <laughs> I love it, mate. Thank you. Oh, clockwise. Easy now, easy. Bit of stir fry action there. How the fuck did you make an omelet that fast, Jesus? I found a way. <laughs> While I'm uh, doing this, it'll take a few rotations. How do you take your eggs? Um, I like them just nicely fried. Not too hard, just enough that I can jam a bit of bread in and have them spill everywhere. Nice, nice. I like mine warm and preferably unfertilised. <laughs> I like how preferably. Like, I'm not that fussed. Yeah, I'm not picky, you know. You can say a lot bad about old Entom, but he ain't, he, he ain't picky when it comes to eggs. Now his tea. Gotta be very specific, but his eggs? Eh. Oh, don't get me started. Cooked to perfection. Beautiful. Look at look at how well rendered this omelette is as well. Three days it took to render that. Can I just point out, if you put a pan that vertical, you don't need to throw the pan to get something to slide out. It's pretty much going to just fall out by itself. Well, it ain't tea foul, let's put it that way. <laughs> do, you, do they even have anti-stick technology in this day and age that we're currently in? I took the liberty of borrowing your bathroom. Looks you don't get to live here rent-free, you know. <laughs> Bathrobes cost extra. It's not part of the hospitality package, madam. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. That's fascinating. <laughs> are, are you going to eat your egg or not? It's right there. Just nod along, Scott. Just nod along. Pretend to be interested until she starts eating the eggs, and then you can see what happens. For the love of God, don't stare her directly in the eye. She'll take your soul. <laughs> She'll transport you to the land of emotion, and then you'll never be able to get back again. Scott's like, is this what my life is now? Talking about origami and making eggs for whores? She didn't even eat them. No, it's, I'll eat the egg. Can I eat the egg? No, it's no. just going to oh. sit there and lightly steam. Like me. If the killer really used a royal typewriter and if he subscribed Look to at all these very helpful camera <laughs> angles. A wide angle would be nice. Well, 
floor. And... Uh, can we get a close in on Scott's face, please? Yeah, I suppose. I'm just gonna walk around like a numpty then. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do all the fucking work. Jeez, Lauren. The pointing and agitated movements. The fade outs imply the passage of time. <laughs> <laughs> the egg lies on the kitchen table, still uneaten. <laughs> Legends tell that to this very day it sits there, mouldy as shit. Still steaming through some unknown presence and force of nature. Not the most attractive of poses, Laura, I'm just gonna say. <laughs> the only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was ten. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make Oh goody, a cemetery. I think this is like 49th from my list of greatest fears. Why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? It's uh, it's listed number one on uh, David Cage's places to do shit in his video games. Yeah. Uh, second is a police station. Third is the home of a father who is uh, woefully inadequate. <laughs> Can't look after his kids right. Putting that air conditioning unit in the background was a big mistake because I can't stop thinking about anything else now. What use is this bench if I can't sit down on it? I mean, seriously, come on now. I'm just going to have a little shufty among the headstones. A gander, if you will. Oh, hello, lady. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for... Uh... Are you actually alive? <laughs> I'm a stock NPC. Don't blink. Don't say a word. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You, yeah, you, you just talked to that guy while I tried to get this quick time event to activate. Anita Hill. Means absolutely nothing. Okay, Lauren, uh, have you actually been playing the game correctly? <laughs> Do you know where we need to go? Have you done something in the past 20 seconds that may advance the story? You know, not be really fucked up. It's if uh, on the names of all these headstones, it was like the development crew. Oh, you know he would as well. Yeah. Somewhere in here, David Cage has a gravestone. I'm just going to follow Lauren. Sounds like a plan. Oh, Hernandez, you were responsible for Lauren's eyes. You earned your place in hell, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try going over here. I like how it's raining as well. You've really got to get that atmosphere down, you know. It looks nice. It does, yeah. It's visually appealing. That looks ominous. I'm going to go over there. <laughs> that looks like shit could go down. Let's head straight towards it. Why well, I won't give for a zombie outbreak about now. Hey Scott, where are you going? John Shepard's grave must be somewhere around here. Did anyone ever tell you you shouldn't shout in the cemetery? Take it easy, the dead don't mind. I would know, I'm one of them. <laughs> Oh, I'm not allowed to go and explore the fancy chapel type thing, am I? Nope. I thought I found a new partner, not another lieutenant. Yeah, sure, yeah. That's the adequate response. Scott! We've got to find that goddamn grave! She's having none of your shit. <sighs> Relax, I'm coming. This is an interactive movie experience. You can't veer off the script. But uh, that guy shoveling uh, soil in the background there looked awfully interesting. Okay, can I get the right camera angle to see where he is? To be perfectly frank with you, Lauren, I think we're wasting our time. We didn't come all this way for nothing. I'm just going to look we're slightly gonna off into the distance. Through. Jeez Louise. This recording session is going great. <laughs> I can't find hiding the hair, so uh, let's ask Dampe over here. 
Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepherd. Straight ahead, a little further out. There we go. Oh, thanks, Lauren. Okay, let's have a little look. These flowers are fresh. Someone's uh, like been so visiting, it seems. Great. Must have been the origami killer. Sounds about the right age, certainly. Yeah. Origami figures. Yeah, it's definitely the origami yeah, colour. Yeah. <laughs> Could have been the macrame murderer, but, oh, you know. That one under well. you know the cross stitch crusher. I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October, I think. Do I feel a flashback coming on? Oh, please, no. Oh god. Oh god, Digi! Oh Jesus Christ, Digital Alchemist! <laughs> I'm sorry, N Tom64, did you not want a child filled flashback? I, I thought we were done with this, Mr. Cage. Did you not get it out of your system in Indigo Prophecy slash Fahrenheit for the PlayStation 2? <laughs> for the Sony PlayStation 2 Entertainment System. Those are the voice actors for Jason and Sean. Oh my god. <laughs> so I'm stuck in a flashback with Jason and Sean 2.0. Yay! Bet you can't catch me. My overplayed disgust could not be more palpable. <laughs> you know, if we wind up inside a uh, warehouse that catches on fire, I'm going to be perturbed to say the least. <laughs> I'll be. Yes, yeah, slightly perturbed indeed, indeed. Heavy rankling. <laughs> Oh, let's do this. Oh yeah, it's a tappy tap. I'm ready this time. Get those little arms moving. It's over, Sean. I have the high ground. <laughs> Long live the king. Oh my god. Don't remind me of Lion King in 3D. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> Okay, I think, having watched multiple playthroughs of this, we have to uh, follow our not-Jason brother around. It's like an obstacle course, if you will. Great use of uh, quick time events there. <laughs> what happens if you don't get the timing right? Do you just stay there? Pretty much. Oh, totally bodacious, dude. That was worth it just for that. Jeez, you're nothing but a slow pole. Hey, I am a slow king, okay? <laughs> Giving it all this with your sassy flashback living mouth. Sorry, I don't care for flashbacks, okay? Especially not in David Cage games. Okay, get a little bit of a wind up. Let her rip! Oh man, it's Mirror's Edge! Nice. Loving me a bit of momentum based platforming. Hex, yeah. Now, since we uh, bumped our uh, little toddler head on the top of that uh, concrete thing. Will you shut up? I'm trying to enunciate here. <laughs> we're, we're not going to get a trophy, is basically the gist of what I was trying to say. Oh. I'm, I'm sure the structure wasn't that high. You didn't need to fade that many times. <laughs> Three hours later. This is the saddest quick time event ever. <laughs> <laughs> Just staring at some bricks, forlorn. You know there's going to be a balance. This is going to be balancing, isn't it? Of course it is.
Maybe not. No, you never know. There's still a bit of uh, bit of scaffold left. That's a good job that dad doesn't give a fuck about him. Reminds me of every other father in an Amy Cage game. Exactly. What, has he got like daddy issues or something? It's like the writers of Avatar, Jesus. Look at these pop culture references. Ugh, oh, we're so with the times. Kinda lost track of where he went. Uh, I'm gonna assume down the stairs. Okay, if uh, the co controls would let me, that'd be nice. Thank you. Jaunty camera angles. Motherfucker! Alright, brace yourself, lads, we're going in. Launch! Dead! So I'm afraid he was destroyed on impact. You don't need to do this if it's too hard for you. No chance, I can Yeah, flashbacks are usually used in cinema to attain new plot crucial information. What are we learning here? Darn. That end Tom can't play video games. That these guys, well, one of these kids was a pissy little bitch, apparently. <laughs> Move your arse, you slowpoke. I'm sorry, okay, I'm not good at the twisty ones. This is tense, though. <laughs> I'm kind of breaking all tension, though, every other second. It's okay, I wasn't aiming for the achievement anyway. <laughs> Probably for the best. They are an optional extra on this wild ride. Oh, thank God. That looks like a bouncing quick time event. Yeah. Here we go. You can't knock me down. Suddenly, a convenient gust of wind blew past the area. Shut up. <laughs> Well, at least it's not like in Indigo Prophecy where, uh, well, maybe I shouldn't say, it's a massive spoiler. Go watch the Hellfire Comms playthrough of Indigo Prophecy if you want to see what lies there. Launch! Nicely done, Tom. It's okay, practice attempts. Launch 2.0! We have lived off! Safe. Oh man, that was graceful as fuck. Why can't it ever be the jump of, like, fluffy kittens or something? Why can't it be the jump of life? You know? Are you just gonna make me hold all the buttons? You run out of fingers yet, Tom. I was ready for you that time. Nicely done, you slowpoke. <laughs> My god, he's a zombie! <laughs> oh yeah! Let's play hide and seek. You go and count to 20 and try to find me, okay? He doesn't know I can't count, this is gonna be amazing! One. Can I look away from this? No. Bye. Oh, oh! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I'm booking the system. 17, 20. Don't say that none of you did that as a kid. Where is he? Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh dear. Oh, for the love of God. John, can I not leave you alone for five seconds? Apparently not. <laughs> Whistling at a time like this, really. Yank that sucker.
I don't like where this is going. Stop whistling! This is not a whistling type situation. I'm hurrying. I'll be right back. But the poor kid never did find any help. And his brother drowned in a park full of rainwater. The boy that lived. What happened to him? Some say he went on to star in other David Cage games. From his parents. Some say he was uh, autobiographed in a series of novels by a certain J.K. Rowling. Well, looks like a the boy who lived. I guess I better be getting home. Thanks for listening to my stories. Now it's back to tending to the dead. <laughs> it's a living. What a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... he could be the origami killer? Dun dun dun! Come on, let's get back in the car. At least we know what happened to John Shepard now. It's kind of sad that the last thing in his life was a series of quick time events. Yeah, it's not way, really the way you want to go, is it? I'm waiting for you, Scott! Fuck off, Lauren! <laughs> I was making my own way to the car, right? Jesus, titty fucking Christ. There's a word I'm looking for that describes the relationship here. It's, um, oh, what is it? Whipped! There we go. Passive aggressive? <laughs> Wait. What's the matter? That's Kramer. <gasps> Damn. Yeah? Something just occurred to me. Weren't the Kramers in to construction? Yes. I believe they were. And John Shepard died on a construction site. It was potentially one of their construction sites. I feel this warrants further investigation, but not here. Not now. We gotta catch him unawares. <laughs> 